Well, what do you say to that, ladies and gentlemen? As Eric Ten Hag so prophetically put it in his post-match reaction on Sky Sports, they can fucking play football. His words, not mine. Don't shoot the messenger. Manchester United, they're 2-1 winners against Liverpool. Yes, we're above them in the Premier League. Yes, we will take that win. And wow, what a wonderful night that was for Manchester United on and off the pitch. I'm going to focus here on what happened off the pitch. To go to the toll gate there, we turned up at about, I don't know, must have been about quarter past six, half past six, to see just how many fans were there. Thousands. I mean, you couldn't get in the toll gate. That march lasted 40 minutes. We were there holding the flag up. Fucking, it was, it was fantastic. Not one violent fan there whatsoever. Everybody there marching against the Glazers, sending the strongest of messages there. So incredible to everybody who turned out to that. And big up to the 1958 for giving us this, this voice and this, this, this front that every fan can support and get behind. Well done to them. Well done to everybody who turned up. And I'll tell you what, well done to Manchester United who showed that they can play football tonight. We made changes. Harry Maguire dropped out. Luke Shaw dropped out. Cristiano Ronaldo dropped out. And that was an actual performance against Liverpool at Old Trafford. From the first minute, we were on it. Like wasps to beer in a fucking pub garden. We were there. We were hustling for the ball. We were, we were there as soon as the second ball dropped. We were pestering Liverpool. For the first 15 minutes, it was... I wouldn't say it was total domination because it wasn't total domination. But given what Liverpool had done to us in the last few years and what we have grown to expect from these games in the last few years to what we've seen there tonight is a polar opposite point of view. That first goal there, it felt like the measure of composure. We should have been one up. I think it was a langer in the first half. We hit the post. I couldn't really particularly see where, for, where I was from in the TRA section. By the way, TRA section, wow. Fucking, that was outrageously good. I was on the floor for both goals. It was, what an atmosphere. It really was, I can't stress enough how good the atmosphere was there tonight. It really was a case where the energy from outside came inside. And I mean that from the protests and, and the, the feeling that everybody had in sort of getting behind the club and supporting the club transferred into the fans and maybe transferred over onto the pitch. I don't know, but something was different today. Whether it was just the fact that Maguire and Shaw and Ronaldo were out of the team and, uh, of course, Malasia Mad Mad came in. Is it Malasia or Madis I don't actually know. Tyrell. I love you, Tyrell. What a bloke. My word, how good did he play there tonight? I mean, I'm going to speak about individual performances later in the show, but just to see that today there from, from, from United overall, from what we've done there from the first two games against Brighton, 2-1, Brentford, 4-0, to that there tonight against Liverpool. I, I, I said it in my preview, and I said it when I, I think I spoke to who scored during the week, and I was like, look, if there's going to be something shown from these United players, it has to be tonight. And I'm not saying that as a be-all and end-all of whether or not beating Liverpool in the third game of the season is the be-all and end-all of the season, because it's not. But if, if we didn't show up tonight, it would have been such a continuation of what happened last season under Randnick and Solskjaer that the same sort of paintbrush could be used for Eric Ten Hag, but it, it didn't happen. The fucking players turned up tonight. Jamie Carragher, I want to hear you talking about how tall Martinez is after that game. The guy was an absolute monster. An absolute monster at the back. Alongside Tyrell Madison, who was... I'm sorry, Luke Shaw, but you're not getting back into that team straight away. I'm sorry, Harry Maguire, you're not getting back into that team now. From what we've seen there, there is no chance we make any changes for that next game. Eric Ten Hag made big changes according to the starting eleven. Maguire went out, who's the captain. Luke Shaw went out, good. Ronaldo was left on the bench. Elanga started on the was it on the left hand side with Sancho on the right and Rashford through the middle, and that made that second goal. <laughs> when that second goal went in, I flew from like three seats into the <laughs> into the row to the second step down there. <laughs> I went absolutely flying. Also found someone's glasses, nailed it. But United 
when that second goal went in, we're two 0 up against Liverpool. You know, I'll be I'll be honest. I think we sort of it feels like we went slightly inwards a little bit. Uh, the, the crowd started to get nervous. Uh, the the players started to play nervous, uh, and it feels like we were nervous. And Liverpool got their goal. It, it seemed scrappy. I'll be I'll be honest. I haven't seen a reaction. I haven't seen a, a replay of it. Sorry. It seemed scrappy. I didn't really know how it fucking went in, but it went in, and uh, everyone was like. But still, there was a little bit of measure of confidence that we could see it through. Oh, voice went there. That we could see it through. Be honest, my voice has gone from that. Jesus Christ. And we saw it through. I, I, I saw so many characteristics there tonight that I saw in the preseason that up until now, I haven't seen in the Premier League. And there tonight, the players showed me that they can, as Eric Ten Hag said, that they can fucking play football. That they can do what he wants them to do. That we can play it out from the back. Manasir, especially in like two or three occasions where you have two players round him, just did lovely little round the corner passes, whether that was to Martinez or whoever was there. And it got him out of space. He drew two Liverpool players to him, played through the press. And from that point on, we could just play it forwards. That's what we need to see. What we saw there tonight has to be the foundations upon we build the rest of this season. Casemiro being unveiled, I'll be honest, I didn't see that. I was outside the ground in the protest. I didn't see that shit. But Casemiro, drop him in that team there instead of Scott McTominay. You've got the foundations for something going forward. I do not think this whole squad is abysmal. I never thought that. And I've reiterated that. There are certain individuals that I do not think should be in that team. Ooh, my voice went for a second time there. But I'm just so happy about that tonight. It, it felt fantastic in that stadium. It really, really did. From the energy from the toll gate, going there and seeing so many people there. Everybody on the same wavelength, everybody on the same path and everybody with the same energy towards the Glazers, towards getting the Glazers out. But as I say, doing it in a peaceful manner because as soon as we start protesting and it goes into a violent manner, then the narrative switches and the Glazers start winning against us. But instead of that, thousands and thousands marched from the toll gate to Old Trafford. And uh, the pictures and the videos that will come out post this game tonight will only strengthen our fight against the Glazers. But speaking from a purely football perspective, that there tonight, we needed that. We needed that there after the game against Brighton and the humiliation against Brentford. And for me there, it goes to show that they are there for that fucking manager. That they can play like that for their manager. And that when the chips are down, because the chips were down there tonight against Liverpool. Yeah, they may have been struggling coming into the game. Two draws. They weren't the Liverpool, I mean, in terms of perform, that are coming and spanked us last season. To go from that to where we were against Brentford to where we played there tonight is a fucking seismic shift and we needed that shift as a football club and I hope now we continue that into Southampton we bring Casemiro in and we can start looking vertically upwards from where we were in those first two games to where we should be because we should be so much better than we have been in those first two games and I'm just so happy for Ten Hag I'm so happy for Martinez and Madisea, who put all those fucking naysayers to bed. I apologise if I'm swearing it quite a bit. It's like I've had a few drinks, because you can't hear my voice as well. But being there tonight was special. Before the game, during the game, United, are, as, as the chant goes, we will never die. But we've seen dead and buried for so long. Tonight there, I think the players have shown that they're willing to play for the manager. That they are capable of playing for the manager. Add Casemiro into that. Add Anthony into that. Jesus. Add even Gakpo or De Jong into that. Let's start talking. Let's start cooking. But tonight there, that goal from Sancho, ultimate composure on the edge of the box. The ball, I think it was from Ericsson. Sancho almost felt like he had a time to take a touch, look up, see where he wanted to put it, slide it into the corner. And Rashford, well done, Marcus. Had the composure. Keepers there. Cur oh man, we went balmy when that went in. Absolutely mental. I loved it. You loved it. I apologise if my match reaction is late, but geez, it's almost like I'm in Manchester and I've gone to the game. I've had a few beers. You can let me off for that. But tonight, the biggest story is that March before the, before the match against the Glazers. It's the biggest unit. It's the biggest 
I've ever seen it. And I hope it continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until Jim Ratcliffe owns Manchester United. But for tonight only, Man United 2, Liverpool 1, I'm taking that. And as Eric Ten Hag said in his post-match reaction, this team can fucking play football. More of that.